Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. It is wonderful to be in your home. We are live every Thursday morning, and this Thursday morning is September 27th. We have a great show ahead of us. Later on in the hour, we'll be talking with Hire 253 Job Fair. They are here to tell you about their upcoming job fair and what you need to know to make it a success for your life. And then Green Day Tacoma. What is Green Day Tacoma? No, it's not a band. So you need to stick around and find out how you can be involved in Green Day Tacoma. And then, of course, Tacoma Urban League is here. We'll be talking uh, with them about their, can you believe it, 50th anniversary and what kind of party they're going to be throwing to celebrate. And then with me are three lovely individuals who are here to talk about the upcoming October is Tacoma Arts Month. And uh, I was joking with them in the green room that it's probably been Arts Month for, for them for a long time. And actually, I think Rachel said since May. So please join me, speaking of Rachel, in welcoming Miss Rachel Betran. You, you are the Tacoma Arts Month coordinator. Yes, that's correct. My gosh, are you dreaming about this by now? I am living, breathing, dreaming <laughs> Tacoma Arts Month, really. It is just around the corner. You've probably been signing like all of your paperwork and dates for October forever, haven't you? Yep, seeking it in my sleep. It's almost done. With you, you brought Ms. Heather Conklin. You are the Vice Chair of Tacoma Arts Commission. Hello, Ms. Heather. Hello, good morning. Good to have you on the Thank show. Thank you. Thank you for all the great work that you do as well. Thank you. And this beauty over here, man, the hair, the glasses, the smile. Jasmine Brown, you are the Tacoma artist. Welcome to City Line, Thank my you. dear. Good to have you here. All right, let's let's kind of get a full overview. So for somebody who uh, maybe has just been unconscious for the past 10 years and is waking up, and the first thing out of their mouth is, what is Tacoma Arts Month? What do we say to them? Yeah. So Tacoma Arts Month is a celebration of the arts community and all of the people that are involved in creating such a thriving creative space here in the city of Tacoma. And this is the 17th year that we've had um, the Tacoma Arts Month, formerly known as Art at Work. And so it's a variety of events and ceremonies and different activities where um, folks of all ages can engage in the arts here. Wow, that it's the 17th year? Yeah. That is impressive. I remember when it was called Tacoma, Tacoma Art or Tacoma Art Month or Works Month. Yeah, I remember that. So what kind of programming is happening during Tacoma Arts Month? We've been showing some pictures here, but give us a little teaser. Yeah. So um, Tacoma Arts Month is as I mentioned before, a bunch of events for all ages. So we have everything from workshops where folks can try their hand at something new like mm -hmm. painting or printmaking. There's also a lot of live performances, um, many of whom are organized by the local organizations um, you know, in downtown Tacoma, but all across the city as well. We also have some major signature events where we recognize local artists and organizations that contribute to the arts, um, as well as the Tacoma Studio Tour, which I'm sure we'll talk about yeah, later. Something for everybody. Yeah. I mean, that's what this Arts Month is known for. I mean, it, it's, it has pretty much everything. It's hands-on, or if you just want to view it, um, it's there for you. So I want to ask this question, and I want to start with you first, Heather. Uh, what impact does arts and culture have on our community? So I also teach high school art, and she so I do. see art in, in the, the eyes of the youth. And so it's really important that we kind of continue this, but art is huge for our young people to kind of be a, a way of expressing themselves. And it also beautifies all of our neighborhoods. Absolutely. And so Tacoma's done a really great job about incorporating art into a lot of different areas. It does. Jasmine, I want you to weigh in on this before I go to Rachel. So because you are you are the, the recognized artist here on the couch. So how do you answer that question of what does art and culture have on a, in our community in terms of impacting it? Well, I think it certainly uh, provides a vehicle for diverse forms of expression. Yes. And, you know, I'm excited about shifting my uh, studio practice from more of a gallery focus to public art uh, and uh, creative visual placemaking. Oh, I love that. And we need art more than ever now. Okay, so round out the question here, Miss Rachel. What kind of impact do you see it? Yeah. Um, 
speaking from the department that I'm working in, yeah. I think art serves not only as a social and personal impact, it also has an economic impact as yes. well. So when we're thinking about um, having a sense of identity, Tacoma has a really strong arts identity. Mm -hmm. And so by you know supporting it, we're really just reaffirming what we're about and the different diverse forms that folks have talked about. Um, because it really does come from folks of all ages, and I think that's so necessary in, in communicating with each other and reinforcing that we're all here together in the city. It is, and one of the things you just said communicating is that art inspires conversations and it inspires, uh, it breaks down barriers and the spoken word is a huge form of art. Speaking of words, let's talk about what is, Rachel, hashtag Tacoma Arts Month Challenge. What is that? Yeah. So another way that we want folks to be engaged this, uh, this month is by sharing in their own personal experience with Tacoma Arts. And so we have a photo competition on our social media accounts. And folks are encouraged to take pictures at different arts events that they go to this um, in October. And when they include the hashtag Tacoma Arts Month, they're automatically entered into a contest where they have a chance to win a grand prize. Ooh, okay, can you tell us what the prize is or is it Totally secret. It isn't totally secret, but I will say it's a complimentary overnight experience in Tacoma, and you get to um, have free tickets to a cultural arts experience. Yes. So to be determined, but definitely it's a really fantastic prize. I love that, and thank you for staying local, as we say. So Heather, let's talk about Kaleidoscope, which is the kickoff event mm -hmm. for Tacoma Arts Month. What is it? So Kaleidoscope is our uh, kind of signature opening party. Uh, October 3rd from 6 to 9 in Normana Hall. And there are local artists, there is um, kind of different demonstrations, programs. We'll have some musical mm -hmm. uh, things, some drama, and all kinds of events for all ages. Mm -hmm. So it's family friendly. Um, and it's kind of our, our beginning of Arts Month, and we do this every year at the beginning of October. You do a big old party. Is mm -hmm. there food? There's always food. Because food art food. There's always Come on. food. There's good food. <laughs> yeah, very good food. Okay, so in addition to food being a part of the kickoff, yes. which is always in there, uh, another signature piece of Tacoma Arts Month is the Tacoma Studio Tour, which I love. Because... It's my chance to get out and to see all of the artists because I, it's the only time in that month I can do that. So tell me about the tour and then who's on it and what can our visitors expect to see, Rachel? Yeah, well, I'm really excited. This year, Tacoma Studio Tour is the biggest it's been yet. Hello. So yeah, we have over 47 different locations and we're featuring over 80 different artists um, and they're coming from all ages and all walks of life. Um, so you'll see and have hands-on demonstrations with printmakers, with painters, with sculptors, furniture makers. Um, one thing that's really unique this year is we have two community spaces hosted by Central Latino and Real Art Tacoma, where artists who don't physically have a studio but want to participate can still offer demonstrations. And so we're increasing our representation across South and East Tacoma and Hilltop as well. Oh, I love that because, I mean, you, you've landed on a very important point. Point. Not all artists can at first, or does their art lend them to have a studio? So then you have to ask the question, well then how do I see their work if it's not being displayed at some museum or some hall? Um, so for them to have a space to go create, boy that is a win-win. All right, Miss Jasmine, let's talk about some of the ongoing art events and projects that our Tacoma um, residents will see this October. Well, I'm really excited about the studio tour. Um, I want to go see um, the Hilltop Artists yes. at, at Jason Lee Middle we School. did our pumpkins here, yes. And uh, I'll be installing some work uh, this evening, uh, some photo murals at the Race and Pedagogy Conference at UPS. Yes. So I'm excited to be a part of that. And the um, new East Side Community Center will be opening up and there will be artwork featured by many uh, local artists in, in that building. And my, I will, I'm the artist that was commissioned to do the Billy Ray's um, Shirley Memorial sculpture mm -hmm. that will be out in front 
of that building. That won't be installed until probably the beginning of the year, but there will be plenty of work that will be featured on the inside. I love that. Boy, you have picked some really great and uh, diverse things for us to go see. And I always like to hear it from an artist because I know if you want to see it, I'm following you around, sister, everywhere you go. So, okay. So, Heather, the famous Ammo Cat Awards. Um, let's first off, first off, what are they? If someone doesn't know what they are, what does Ammo Cat mean, and who are the winners? So uh, Ammo Cat is actually Tacoma backwards. Yeah, it is. I which love is it. So fun. Um, the Ammo Cat Awards are for three different, uh, three different kind of, um, kind of spaces. So we have the Arts Patron and Multi Care Health System is actually one. Art our arts patron for their continued patronage of arts and arts uh, kind of programming in all of their hospitals and medical centers, yes. especially local artists. Yes. Uh, we've got um, our community outreach. So Tacoma Little Theater is actually one our, I mean, our arts uh, community outreach. And this is actually their 100th year, so it's yes. even a bigger celebration for them. And Jackie Casella is actually one for her uh, founding of Creative Colloquy for our Individual Arts Award. She so, is amazing. Yeah, we're really excited to to celebrate with those three organizations. Well, well chosen. So, um, Jasmine, if you could pick one thing that you are excited about experiencing in October, what would it be? Mm, I think it would be uh, visiting, like I said, the Hilltop Artists. Yep. Because I'm also a middle school teacher at <gasps> Geodrome Middle School. Then you uh, know. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what the, the kids over at Jason Lee are up to. Because it's not about glass, is it? The glass is, is, is the byproduct of all of this evolution and this character building that goes into it. And I, and I think arts classes really encourage our youth to explore uh, creative solutions and come up with new ideas and uh, really realize their own potential. I think so too. Last 30 seconds, since we've been showing the website, they can find out about all the events on the website. Who do we need to thank, Ms. Goodness. Rachel? We need to thank all of the artists, organizations, and businesses, and um, leaders, arts leaders, that have really put in, you know, even 10 cents, 10 seconds of oh. effort into supporting Tacoma Arts Month and to supporting our artists and um, folks who maybe don't even identify as arts, but want to engage in the arts and um, really just all their support um, of what creativity um, and vital um, expression we have here yes. and really appreciate that. Well said. I want to thank the three of you for all the work that you've put into this. Uh, 365 Tacoma Arts Month does not happen by itself. It doesn't just happen in October. It happens every single day of the year. So thank you for your dedication, your creativity, and your passion. And I'll find one of you somewhere in October. How's that? All yeah, right. Sounds good. When we come back after just a little bit of musical chairs, we'll have Tacoma Urban League in here to talk about their 50th anniversary. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. Shh.